Russia was the first country to officially register a coronavirus vaccine in August. The vaccine has been named as Sputnik V. It was developed by Russia's Gamaleya Research Institute and registered by the Ministry of Health of Russia. Hyderabad-based Dr. Reddy's Laboratories announced that it had signed an agreement with the Russian Direct Investment Fund. Dr. Reddy's plans to conduct large human trials of this vaccine. If these trials turn successful, Russia has committed to supplying 100 million doses to India. On September 4, a research paper on the results of Phase 1 and Phase 2 clinical trials of the vaccine was published in The Lancet. It showed that there were no serious adverse effects and a stable immune response in 100% of the participants. More than 55,000 volunteers had applied to take part in these trials. Sputnik V is being developed as a two-dose vaccine using two human recombinant adenovirus vectors. These vectors are known to cause respiratory infections and have been modified to not replicate in the body. The inactivated vectors are tweaked to carry the S gene that encodes the spike protein of the coronavirus. The hope is that these vectors will inveigle themselves into a smaller number of the body's cells and trick the body into registering the coronavirus spike protein. It will then activate the immune system into producing specialized T cells that can neutralize the affected cells. Once this happens, the immune system is expected to produce antibodies as well as memory B cells. This can produce the right offensive cells when needed to neutralize future SARS coronavirus 2 infections the body may encounter. In September, Russia said it had begun testing the vaccine among 40,000 volunteers as part of its Phase 3 trials. But the most controversial aspect of Sputnik V is that it had already been pre-approved even before the results of Phase 3 trial. Russia, however, claims that the vaccine candidate will reinvigorate vaccine development and act as a potential solution to the coronavirus pandemic.